Good morning and welcome to the Pray Mom with PT. It's a prayer session designed specifically to pray for your children. Lord, we bless and we honor you this morning. Let's lift up our voices and give God a praise for another day. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord, for your promises, O God, concerning our lives, concerning our children's lives. Father, we bless your name. Concerning every member of our family, Father, I give you all the glory this morning. Thank you for your word in the book of Psalm 86, verses 3 to 5. Be gracious to me, Lord, for I call to you all day long. Bring joy to your servant's life, O God, in the name of Jesus. Since I set my hope on you, Lord, for you, Lord, are kind and ready to forgive, abundant in faithful love to all who call on you. Lord, I thank you. I give you praise. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you, Father, for all that you have done. Thank you for the hope that I have in you concerning my life, the hope that I have in you concerning every member of my family. Thank you, Father, for your promise in your word. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you for the promise in the book of Philippians 4, 6, 7. Do not worry about anything, but in everything through prayer and petition. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guide your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, O God, for your peace, O God, concerning my children. Thank you for your peace concerning my home. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done for me, for my children. I give you praise for the prom for your promises, O oh God, in your word. I give you all the glory. I exalt you. Thank you, Father, because you hear me. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for your word in the book of Micah 7, 7. My God will hear me. Concerning my children this morning, my God will hear me. I give you praise and glory. I exalt you for a beautiful day. Thank you for what you have in store for me today and for my children and my grandchildren. I give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks this morning. Amen and amen. We have been praying using the letters A to Z. This morning, we're going to continue with the letter E. And this morning, by the Spirit of God, I have tied to the empowerment. Empowerment. Our children need to be empowered. Empowerment. We need to equip our children with skills and knowledge knowledge to make informed decisions for their own lives. They need to be empowered. Our children need to be empowered with good education, possibly to prepare them for promising and bright future. They need to be empowered, mirroring self-belief and have inner confid confidence when they are empowered. Very important that our children are empowered. Very important that they are able to, to make choices. Very important that we listen to them to, be, to ensure that they are empowered. Very important that we allow them to take risks as they as they mature in life very important that we let them dream they need to be empowered this morning we're going to pray for empowerment concerning our children and our grandchildren in the name of jesus that they will be empowered in the name of jesus the grace of god will be sufficient for them bible says in the book of second corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 Bible says, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weaknesses. Therefore, I will boast all more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. This morning, you want to lift up your voices and begin to pray that God empower my children in the name of Jesus and grace them. In the name of Jesus, let them be skillful. Equip them, O oh God, with skills and knowledge, O oh God, that will make them shine. In the name of Jesus. Say, equip them, oh God. Rakua Sutaliga. E this morning is for empowerment. Rekebosha Tutaliga. Rasha Tutaliga. My children and my grandchildren will, will make informed in de decisions. In the name of Jesus, because of your empowerment, let them be empowered. Empowered, oh God. Rakabosha Kukaliga. Resa Tutaliga Dusa. Rakia Masotoliga Dutaliga. Pray with me this morning. Masha tu taliga dusa, rekebosha tu taliande boso toliga dusa, rakia baso toliga du taliga. Give my children a voice in the name of Jesus. Give my child a voice, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Giving them a voice is a key to developing their confidence. You want to pray that they will have a voice. Their voice will be held in the name of Jesus. They will be empowered in the name of Jesus. Kasa tu taliga. Help me as a praying mom, O oh God, to encourage my 
children to choose and make decisions for themselves. In the name of Jesus, Rakaboso Toliga Dutaliande, Rasha Tutaliga Dutaliga, Rekeboso Toliga. Pray with me this morning. Masha Tutaliga Dutaliande. Help me as a praying mom to listen to my children to engage in, to engage them. In the name of Jesus. Rakabo Sotoliga Dusa. Rakua Sutaliga. Masha Tutaliande Boso Toliga Dutaliande. Rekebosha Tutaliga. To listen to what they have to say. In the name of Jesus. Rekebo Sotoliga Dutaliande. Masa Tutaliga. Encourage them, O God, and empower them. In the name Name of Jesus, pray with me this morning. Masha Tutaliga, Rekeboso Toliga Dutaliga, help me as a praying mom to trust my children and support them. In the name of Jesus, I need to be to be able to empower my children. In the name of Jesus, with skills, Rakusa Tutaliga. Above all, we pray for God's empowerment concerning our children and our grandchildren this morning. Pray with me this morning. Masha Tutaliga, Rakusa Tutaliga, help me, Lord, to be able to create a positive environment for my children. In the name of Jesus, be mindful of the language, O God, they speak. In the name of Jesus, the language around them, O God. Help me as a praying mom to be able to use positive words, O God, when talking to my children. In the name of Jesus, Rakusa Tutaliga, that will empower them. In the name of Jesus, Rekeboso Toliga Dusa, Masha Kukalinga, Rakabosha Kukaliga, encourage their emotions. In the name of Jesus, empower your children. You want to pray, God help me as a praying mother. Help me as a parent to empower my children. In the name of Jesus, Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6, Bible says, be strong and courageous. Do not, do not fear or, or, or be in dread of them. Bible says, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. This morning, you want to pray for strength that your children will be strong in the name of Jesus they will be courageous in the name of Jesus they are empowered by God this morning in the name of Jesus my children and my grandchildren will not be fearful in the name of Jesus I pray oh God for empowerment in the name of Jesus first John 4 4 Bible says little children you are from God and you have overcome them he who is in you is greater than who is in the world come on this morning declare that a greater one resides in the inside of my children in the name of Jesus they are empowered to prosper in the name of Jesus they will succeed in all that they do in the name of Jesus I pray for confidence concerning my children confidence to excel to excel in their career to excel in their business to strive oh God in all that they do in the name of Jesus Masha Tutaliga Dusa Rakaboso Toliga Dutaliande they will thrive in the name of Jesus Rekebosha Tutaliga they will thrive in all that they do in all that they represent in the name of Jesus, pray with me this morning. Masa tu shati kaliga du saku kaliande. F this morning is for foul language. We want to pray that our children, oh God, will not alter languages, oh God, that does not represent Christ in the name of Jesus. Foul languages, no matter how small or how, how old they are. We want to discourage foul languages in the lives of our children. It is not of God. We want to pray that in the name of Jesus, God will help our children in the way they express their emotions. In the name of Jesus, they will not swear. In the name of Jesus, help them to be able to control their emotions. No more bad words. In the name of Jesus, no more using hurtful words or socially unacceptable language. In the name of Jesus, pray with me this morning. Rasha tutaliga dusa. Rekeboso toliga dusa tutaliga. F is for foul language. Bible says in the book of Ephesians 5, 4, let there no, let there no, no, no filthiness, no foolish talk, no crude joking which are out of place but instead let there be thanksgiving this morning you want to pray that filthiness, filthiness talk will not come out of my of my of my children and my grandchildren's mouth in the name of jesus no foolish talk in the name of jesus no crude joking jokes in the name of Jesus, pray with me. Rasa shutalianda du saku kaliga. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29. Bible says, let no corrupting talk come out of your mouth, but only such that is good for building hope. As fit for the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. Such words shall be words that will come out of my children and my grandchildren's mouth in the name of Jesus. Words that will edify their hearers. In the name of Jesus, no corrupting 
talk for that will come out of my children and my grandchildren's mouth. Pray with me this morning. F is for foul languages. Help our children and our grandchildren to be able to control their emotions. In the name of Jesus, they will be able to control oh God yes, themselves. In the name of Jesus, we come against the spirit of anger in the lives of our children and our grandchildren. Pray with me this morning. Masha Tutaliga Dusa Rekebo Shokolika Dusa Tutaliande Colossians chapter 3 verse 8. But now you must put them all away. Anger, wrath, malice. You want to pray that all this be put away in the lives of my children and my grandchildren. Slander. In the name of Jesus, let it be put away. In the name of Jesus, let evil talk, oh God, be put away. In the name of Jesus, from their mouth. Rakua su taliga du taliga. Evil talk will not proceed from the mouth of my children and my grandchildren. Their lips will be full of praises. In the name of Jesus to God. Rakabo so toliga du satu taliga. Colossians chapter 4 verse 6. Let your speech always be gracious seasoned with salt so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. This morning I pray for wisdom for my son. I pray for wisdom for my daughter. Let their speech always be gracious, O God. Let the speech of my children and my grandchildren be seasoned with salt. In the name of Jesus, give them wisdom. In the name of Jesus, wisdom, O God, to relate with people. Wisdom, O God, on the words that they should alter from their mouth. In the name of Jesus, Rakabo Sotoli Gadut Aliande, give them wisdom. In the name of Jesus, wisdom to interact. Rekebo Shaku Kaliga Du Satut Aliga, come and give him glory this morning. Exalt the name of God this morning for empowerment concerning your children. My children and my grandchildren have been empowered. They will succeed in all that they do. I declare great success concerning them and, and, and my grandchildren. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. No more foul languages in my home. In the name of Jesus, I pray the lips of my children are anointed. In the name of Jesus, Father, I give you glory and praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. This podcast is brought to you from Prayer and Liberation Ministries, IPAM. For godly counseling and prayers for relationships and for your children, you can contact me on my email. The email is dpmom at iprayerandliberation.site. For more prayers for your children like this, you can subscribe and follow us on our YouTube channel, IPAM Ministry. If you do not receive this podcast directly from me, and you would love to, we have a WhatsApp group for the Praying Mom with PT. If you want to be part of this group, please email me to get an invite link to this group. Or you can connect with us on our social media, the Instagram or the Facebook on the handle The Praying Mom with PT. If this podcast has been a blessing to you, please share with someone. God bless you and bye for now.